because we are designing this cities from from scratch we can actually design them to be carbon neutral from the beginning which is a very difficult thing to do we have the potential to to solve the housing crisis globally by expanding onto water and i think that this is imminent and inevitable My name is Itai Madamombe. I'm the co-founder of Oceanics. Oceanics is a blue tech company that was founded in 2018 to design and build floating infrastructure for people to live sustainably on the ocean. Oceanics and the city of Busan, together with UN Habitat, signed an agreement to build the world's very first sustainable floating city prototype in the city of Busan. There are a number of issues that we're trying to solve with floating cities. Coastal cities, when they run out of land, they have nowhere to expand. And now this is compounded by climatic threats, and now you are ever more vulnerable to sea level rise. 90% of mega cities are at risk, and this is a major concern. So oceanics infrastructure, one, creates new land, but because it's not anchored to the seabed, it can rise when the water rises. So it's literally flat proof. My name is Matteo Petrobelli and I work as the chief engineer for Oceanic City. In Oceanics, we are um, designing with the baseline of the United Nations uh, SDG goals. The baseline that we are adopting is to be from our energy, water, waste, and the food perspective to be 100% sustainable. The city right now, we call it a city, but it's really a prototype. It's gonna be at three platforms. Um, each platform is the size of a new city block. The overall population of that platform with the uh, residents and visitors um, is expected to be around 12,000 to 15,000 people. We are very much linked to the ocean. We're very much linked to the sea. And uh, it's, it's, it's prioritary for us to not just protect it, but to even become an agent of regeneration for the ocean. First of all, we're floating. And so floating platforms become um, a reef for the marine environment. And uh, in addition to our systems that are used for habitat regenerations, we really are trying to rely on more uh, green, sustainable, and also constant source of uh, energies. What we are aiming to do in the future is develop these cities to be fully sustainable and independent. Produce their own water, their own energy, they would process their own waste through zero waste systems. So this is, I think, an amazing contribution both to sustainable coastal expansion as well as adaptation to climate change. So the perception has been really good because really the design that we are adopting and the philosophy that goes with it is uh, um, to build a city for everyone. We're trying to understand how this can be engaging, how this can be perceived as a smooth transition, how this can, this can be perceived as a, uh, an addition, right, a plug-in to the city of Busan. And, um, and also at the end of the day how this can be a very um, active, energetic and uh, uh, exciting community. The ocean makes up more than 71% of the planet. It is really planet ocean. So we have the potential to, to solve the housing crisis globally by expanding onto water. And I think that this is imminent and inevitable. And doing so in a sustainable way, in the way that Oceanics, UN Habitat and Busan are envisioning this is the right way.